martial arts forms are a set of routines of movement, offense, and defense against imaginary bad guys. Kata is a valuable learning tool. Like many things, there are different opinions on forms. Some say they forms are the keys to the universe and that you can't have martial arts without them. On the other side, there are the group that say forms are worthless and can't teach you how to fight in truth. They are helpful because they can reflect fighting situations, but by themselves, they are not enough to create an effective fighter. Forms can be used to develop speed, balance, sharpen one's technique, and build endurance. Forms is only part of your training. They must be combined with sparring and other exercises. Now there are thousands of variations. The combinations are infinite. Their applications to a real fight are not direct. After all, you don't have control over where the opponent stands or how big he is and so forth. But the forms you practice become a kind of vocabulary of movement. Just as you don't know what karate technique is applicable until the situation exists, practicing forms is a form of studying. They will help you come up with the right answers quickly when you need them. They also can be used when training without a partner or training at home. One last thought forms can have buried within them secrets that are not easy to spot, such as codes in the numbers, stance directions and angles, constricted movements that when expanded reveal something else and expanded movements that when constricted reveal some things as well. Blocks that are strikes and vice versa. In Kempo Karate system, there is a form called Statue of the Crane, and it is a fine example of what I mean. There are more to be sure, but that is all for now. You finally figured out what I already knew. These videos are great. Took you long enough. <laughs>